Manga Wido. My name is Tsubasa Takayama. My parents run a toy store. My father was always a card game enthusiast, and his hobby led to the creation of this store. We sell toys, but the majority of the store carries card games, and we even have tables where you can play against each other. After school, the store is crowded with kids who come to play. My mother made and sold baby sponge cakes for the kids who got hungry after playing, which was a big hit. The store was always thriving. Tsubasa, let's go to the next tournament together. I'm not good at card games, though. Didn't I tell you before not to force Tsubasa? Oh, it's always been my dream to participate as a father and son. Tsubasa, just once is enough. Surrounded by a good-natured father and a strong mother, I was happy. One day, however, my father suddenly did not return home. He collapsed on the road on his way home from stocking up and was rushed to the emergency room. It was a stroke. Honey, why? Dad, you're going to the tournament with me, right? Hey, wake up! After my father's funeral, the store closed for a while. My mother doesn't even want to go outside. I wonder if she's going to quit the toy store. I was worried. But regulars came every day. You're not going to open the store? I want to eat the baby sponge cake you make. And so my mother opened the store again. At first it was only for a few hours, but by the time a month had passed, she started opening it from morning until night like before. We can't cry forever. I'll help too. I'll watch the store. Thanks. Let's do our best together. My mother wasn't interested in card games, but she couldn't seem to ignore the customers who asked for advice. She began to read and answer the strategy notebooks my father had written. When I read these notes, I feel like your father is there for me. Yeah. We started to look forward, little by little. And a year after my father died, I was in the sixth grade, and I even started attending the store with my mother. Then, one day, wait, that belly, it's awfully swollen. One of the boys who was a regular had a puffed up jacket. Could it be? I followed, and the boy pulled a brand new deck of cards out of his stomach just before he got on his bike. I knew it, he's a shoplifter. I immediately ran to my mother and reported what I saw, and she gently approached the boy. You can't do that. He must have realized that he had been caught shoplifting. The boy said, I'm sorry, and began to cry. You're the boy who always comes with your brother, right? Yes. What's your name? Junpei Nomura. I always thought you were a good boy, taking good care of your brother. But why did you steal it? Will you be honest with me? It's Kohi's, my brother's birthday. So I wanted to give him a present. I was going to pay for it, but I didn't have the money. I couldn't get an allowance. It seems that Junpei's parents fight every day and don't take good care of him. They're always talking about cheating and divorce and stuff. And neither mom nor dad would listen to us at all. My dad takes my piggy bank and goes pachinko. That's terrible. Ugh. I'm so sorry. I will return this. It won't happen again. Junpei cried and apologized repeatedly. He also gave the product back to my mother. But my mother didn't accept it. Stealing is wrong, but I understand that you wanted to celebrate your brother's birthday. Don't do it again. This is a gift from me to your brother. Go ahead, take it home. Really? Yes, but you must never do it again. Not in my store, and not in any other store. I'm calling the police next time. Do you understand? Yes. I I'm so sorry. Thank you. Later, Junpei came to thank us with his younger brother, Kohei. Auntie, I'm really sorry about the other day. This is a portrait of you. My brother drew as a thank you. Oh, it's very good. Then I'll bake you a baby sponge cake as a thank you. After that, Junpei and Kohei often came to the store and helped me when I was cleaning outside. I guess it was their way of atonement and gratitude. My mother was so pleased that she baked baby sponge cakes for them as a reward. I was so happy. It was like having a brother. But those days didn't last long. 
One day, they suddenly stopped coming. I asked a guy in Junpei's class and he told me that they both moved. I see. Maybe their parents divorced. I wonder if I'll see them again. Yes, I'm sure you will. They'll come back if we keep the store here. Yeah. After that, I continued to help out in the store and went to high school. I'd already decided to take over the family business, so I went to a commercial high school to acquire knowledge. After graduation, I took advantage of the skills I learned in high school in website building and online shopping, and I started my own business, which was a big hit. Orders for rare cards started coming in from all over Japan, and the number of regulars who came to the store for the exchange increased. I'll take care of the store. You should take a break once in a while, Mum. Don't worry, I'm still working too. I'll do my best to make up for your father. But the good things don't always last. When I turned 30, my mother fell off a stepladder and broke her leg. Even after she healed, she walked with a limp. It's not good if you push yourself too hard. I'll keep the store running with the part-timers, so please, take a break. What? I want you to live a long life, Mum. I'm begging you, please, rest your body. I'll take some rest, but if you're short on staff, don't hesitate to call me. My mother retired and started living leisurely. She's always been the type of mother who's well-liked by people. She enjoyed having tea with the neighbors and attending flower classes, and I was relieved. To reassure my mother, I worked hard at my job. The store was busy, online sales were going up steadily, and it was smooth sailing. Until he showed up. Will you leave? What? This man is Tamai, the landlord. I've known him since we had the previous landlord, but he passed away two years ago and his son, Tamai, took over. The predecessor was a kind man, but this Tamai has been rough ever since he greeted his successor and is always looking down on people. I always managed to respond with an affectionate smile because I could not treat him poorly since we were renting from him. Then Tamai suddenly asked me to get out and I lightly panicked. The lease contract is supposed to be renewed in two and a half years. We can't be asked to leave suddenly. I've decided to sell this place. I've already talked to the real estate agent. As soon as you leave, we can start the selling process. If you understand, get out of here. There are other stores, right? The bedding store next door, the croquette shop next door. They've all agreed to leave. Now it's just you. But it is true that the property is now in shambles, but many customers come to the store because of its location. If we have to move, it would be a huge blow. After explaining our situation, Tamai clicked his tongue and left. But this would not be the end of it. The following week, to my surprise. Thanks for the other time. Is that you? The one who's been complaining about moving? Who are you? We're buying this building. We're gonna clear the land and build condos. Now get out of here. Apparently, this man is a real estate agent. He got together with Tamai and started yelling, get out, and I lost my footing. When I told him what I had learned from the internet, that in the case of an automatically renewed contract, the landlord cannot force the tenant to evict if the tenant wants to continue living in the apartment. They told me they were just here to say hello today and left. I'd lose business if I had to deal with this every day. Oh, yeah, I'll talk to Sato about it. I remembered that Sato, my friend from school, runs a real estate agency so I decided to give it a shot. Sato wasn't there because I didn't make an appointment, and when I told him what happened, they showed me to the reception room and said, please wait here. Please fill in the details of the property here. Sato will be leaving soon, so please wait here for a while. I apologize for barging in so suddenly. No, 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 I'm, I'm sorry you had to be evicted so suddenly. Prompted by a young employee, I fill my name, the address of the property, and the details of the consultation. The young employee's expression suddenly changed when I handed it to him. Could it be the toy store behind Manwa Elementary School? They have a lot of card games and they sell baby sponge cakes. Yeah, that's right. I knew it! I'm, I'm Junpei. When I was in elementary school, I tried to steal a deck. What? Oh! It was that boy, Junpei. At the time, I had to move suddenly due to my parents' divorce, and even though Tsubasa-san and your mother were good to me, I couldn't greet you when I moved out. I'm very sorry. No, 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 I'm glad you're doing well. As we were talking about this, Sato came back to the office. 
when I tell him what happened. <laughs> then I asked Junpei to consult you, he said. <laughs> Junpei knows a lot about the law. Besides, he seems to have a connection with you. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be able to help. Yeah, leave it to me. Let me repay the favor for when we were little. Junpei seemed to be studying real estate diligently and knew a lot about past eviction cases. In the case of eviction for the landlord's convenience, it is clear from many precedents that a certain amount of financial compensation must be paid to the tenant. In this case, Tsubasa-san. Does that mean I can get the landlord to pay for the eviction? Yeah. Since Tsubasa-san is running a store, you can be paid an eviction fee to compensate for the cost of moving to a new store and for the loss of revenue that will result from the move. This is a past case. Hmm, I, I see. I challenged the landlord to a meeting with Jim Pei the next day. Beside the landlord, the real estate agent who came the other day was sitting on his haunches. You ready to move out? Stop whining and get on with it. If you want me to leave, you'll have to pay me an eviction fee. Yeah, I'll give you a couple hundred thousand to move out. In addition to the moving expenses, you must pay a deposit and key money to rent a new store, as well as compensation for the loss of revenue caused by the relocation, which will be about this much. The landlord and the real estate agent next to him both opened their eyes wide when Junpei quickly presented the data. You gotta be kidding! There's no way they'd pay this much money! Don't get carried away! Get off your high horse and move out of here! You say you won't pay? Then we have no choice but to go to court. Incidentally, in the past, there have been cases where more than 10 million yen was ordered to be paid by the court. What? Also, if a real estate agent intervenes in eviction negotiations for the purpose of obtaining some kind of remuneration, it is considered a non-benign act under Article 22 of the Lawyers Act and is illegal. If you are a real estate agent, you know that, don't you? Are you really a real estate agent? Uh... If we can't resolve this through discussion, we'll be on our way. Please, be prepared. We are recording our current conversation as well, so please be prepared for that. In the end, Tamai got scared and said he would pay us an amount we could agree to as an eviction fee. I also asked the bedding shop next door and the croquette shop next door, but how much did you get for the eviction fee? Neither of them seemed to have been offered much, and when we told them how much we were going to get, they got into a big fight with Tamai. As I was getting ready to move out, Tamai yelled at me. It's your fault. I ignored him. That's what happens when you try to get people evicted out of the house. At least he should fulfill his responsibilities as a landlord. Junpei introduced me to a new store. It's about five minute walk from the current store and a very nice place. I'm relieved to see the old customers still coming to the new store as they did before. Thanks. I'm glad I consulted with Junpei to introduce me to such a nice place. Have I repaid you for all you've done for me? You've done more than enough for me. Hey, my mother's coming over today. You're welcome to meet her. Yeah, of course. And my mother who came to the store was delighted to see the grown-up Junpei. Then Junpei's younger brother Kohei joined us. You've both grown up. I'm glad to see you're doing well. The memories of how kind you were to me back then kept us going. I was about to turn into a delinquent, but my brother got mad at me and said, if you become a bad guy, you won't be able to face your auntie at the toy store, and I decided not to. I'm so glad you both grew so well. Come again anytime. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah. About the old store. Apparently Tamai is still struggling, and I don't see it being torn down, and people go in and out of the building. Neighbors say that Tamai told a woman he was in love with that he was going to move overseas with the money from the sale of the property. I hear he was dumped by that woman as well, and is now living alone with his shoulders drooped. I hope I never have to deal with that kind of guy again. The store also had a successful renewal campaign and achieved record sales. Really, it's all thanks to Junpei and our customers. Father in heaven, watch over me. I'll continue to protect this store filled with smiling children.